Good afternoon. Hi. Um, welcome to episode 940. Uh, the topic today is about gratitude. In particular about looking back at 2019. Yes, we are soon 2019. And looking at gratitude because it's a powerful key to start your 2020. Yes, gratitude. Not resolutions. I talked about it yesterday and I'll talk about it more tomorrow probably. But talking about gratitude. And the thing is, it's not just the good stuff. Being grateful is a tool, a key, a style, a way of um, shifting your perspective. That's a good word, but it's shifting your perspective, especially when you want to move out of a place of lack, depression, upset, frustration, stuff like that with the things around you. So if you're dealing with relationships, careers, money, other stuff where you feel a bit like out of sorts, not so happy, Gratitude is actually a very simple, and it sounds, maybe it sounds a little trite, but I'll explain it more in a moment. But it's, it's a very simple way of getting yourself to shift your inner state. And shifting your inner state changes everything. And I said in the title that basically, if you, what you're grateful for from last year, or this past, or this past year, because it's a powerful key to 2020. Because this is a good time of year, being the last three days of the year, to make peace with what happened this year to release what happened before. If you are um, been watching my Facebook Lives for a while, you know I'm, I'm adamant about you being taking care of yourself. It's kind of one of my go-tos in my messaging. And for some people, it's like, well, actually quite a few people have been seeing some posts, and I've put, talked about it too, that in some ways, I'm extremely happy that 2019 is going to be over shortly. Like, I'm really looking forward to 2020. It's been a really, it's been a, a doozy of a year. At the same time, though, it's not like, um, you know, uh, good night and good riddance, or like you know, it's been hellacious or something like that. But things have happened this year that weren't to my liking, or weren't the way I wanted it to be. I went through this year with some interesting lessons, and looking back now, hindsight being twenty twenty, I can be kind of grateful. So gratitude is, and I talked about gratitude before quite a few times, but gratitude is a powerful t um, teaching tool, um, resource. That's a good word, resource to get you free. And, and I've so, said also some of the ways you could be doing it. If you haven't done this already, this is something you want to start for 2020. I'm going to start there right now. So let me just give you some quick gratitude tools to help you plan for next year if you haven't done it so far this year. So one of the things that I recommend highly is writing down things you're grateful for. Not just saying them, but writing them down. Whether you have a gratitude journal or a gratitude jar, which I was I use, and I'll show you mine in a second. Yes, I'll show you mine. <laughs> Um, or some other methodology for recording your gratitudes. It's vital to do that because, first of all, it shifts your mindset. Secondly, it starts to create this um, a resource in a way. Actually, let, let Brian explain me illustrate. So, I, I brought this as a prop. This is my gratitude jar. Yes, gratitude jar. See that? And you see it is absolutely stuck to the gills. Whoops. <laughs> Handle's coming off. Um, it's it stuffed to the gills with paper. And if you notice, I started the year with just like pastel shades, but I got kind of annoyed, not annoyed, I got kind of decided I want to get a bit funkier. So most of the year's now been this fluorescent one. So I went to an office office depot and picked up like pads, not sticky pads, but you can get plain notepads, like, you know, two and a quarter square, give or take, same size as post-its, but these were separate pieces of paper. So just to give you an illustration, I guess I'm gonna un undo some of these things. So these, these are all old things, and again, the jar is full of them. I'm going to pull them out. But these are things I do every day. Hi, Stacy. So what I've done is I've, I've, I've made a commitment to myself all year long. So to write, and I'm just unfolding it as you can see. So writing on there, three every single day, the end of the day, things I'm grateful for, for that day. I'll be doing it again tonight. I'll be doing it again, well, every day. But having done this now for a year, it doesn't fall out. This is now basically over a thousand, or will be by Monday, which probably is right now, over a thousand uh, items of gratitude I have. Now, that is pretty hefty. Literally, I mean, physically heavy too, it's a glass jar, but the idea of it this way versus a journal is it's very visually, um, I don't want to use, stimulating is the word, but visually inspiring by having a gratitude journal because what it does is it creates something I look at and go, okay, I have no excuse not to be grateful because I've already got something to be grateful for. So this is my gratitude jar so if you keep it and this handle keeps coming off oh well, so i don't use it very much that way if you are using a journal that works too but a journal the only thing with a journal for me 
and it's just not my preference is because when journals closed it's just a journal you don't know your pages are filled having the jar clear jar for that matter is so much more fun because what it does is it creates a visual reminder of just how full it is now of course it took a few a month or two to start filling it up but it's been packed ever since and having that experience is really cool so gratitude is a powerful vehicle a powerful method for a better word to change your life I mean, I've got, I actually have gratitude in my self-love meditation. I've mentioned my self-love meditation before. It's a guided meditation. It's on my website, um, which I'll put the link in. I'll put the link in, in the comments afterwards. But the self-love meditation basically includes gratitude is the evening meditation. There's two meditations, an AM meditation and a PM meditation. The AM meditation audio track has um, intention setting. I talked about intentions yesterday, by the way. Um, and the, you like the plant? It's still alive, thankfully. I haven't killed it. <laughs> Thank you, Stacey. I appreciate that. Um, and then the evening meditation, they're both five minutes each, so it's not a long time, includes gratitude. So look back at the look back at your day from a place of gratitude. So my recommendation to you, my invitation to you, my encouragement to you is to make gratitude part of your daily life. In the evening or in the morning. Some people say you do it in the morning, but I'm like, no, I'd rather write about, write about at the end of the day what I experienced that day. You could use... See, the thing is... Okay, let me, let me explain this piece. As I said, in my self-love meditation, the morning one is an intention-setting one. I, my perception is, my belief is that if you do meditate, if you do gratitude in the morning, you're being grateful for your intentions. You're grateful for what's coming. But if it doesn't work out, you can still be grateful. So I recommend highly doing gratitude in the evening because you look back at the previous day. I've already got like four or five things I'm grateful for. For instance, just to throw things out there, because gratitude doesn't have to be the big stuff. It can be simple stuff. One of the things I, got, I had to do today is I took my bike to my bicycle. I rode a bike. To get to the bike store, because there's a bicycle store nearby, which is a do-it-yourself bike store, I thought I had to replace the chain. It was it was slipping a bit. But when I was when I was actually in there and having checked out with the tools they had there, I discovered all I needed to do was do a fine tuning on it, and now my gears are moving perfectly. Now the place is not expensive. It's a, it's a do-it-yourself bike store, so it would, it would cost me probably thirty bucks with chain, and then having the thing to do it. It cost me. Well, I threw I threw three bucks in the tip jar because it didn't cost me anything. It was ten minutes time done. So that's the thing I'd be grateful for because that's something that didn't take a lot of time, didn't take a lot of effort, and it's been simple pleasure. So things you're grateful for can be very simple. So that's one of mine for today. I've got a few more. I've already got a couple more I'm going to talk about now, but I want to give you some ideas. So having gratitude is a pivotal thing to do. If you've been dealing with challenges in your relationships, challenges in your business, challenges in your financial status, if you can be grateful for anything in those areas, and let's say relationship, for example, you can be grateful for the fact that your partner is still there. You can be grateful for the fact that you see clearly now why you need to leave. You can be grateful for the child you have. I mean, there's so many ways you can be grateful. Even when the situation is chaotic or destructive or or hellacious, you can still be grateful for something within it. So be be clear with that. You can be gratitude all the, you can have gratitude all the time. So gratitude is a pivotal point, as I mentioned. And to my intentions again, I I wrote this last night and I mentioned it in my Facebook Live. I think I did yesterday. Is I talk about this because when it comes to New Year's, and I'm going to do a whole big thing about New Year's resolution stuff shortly, because I did one briefly yesterday, we're going to go deeper in it over the weekend, or after the weekend rather, because we're in the weekend now, is gratitude, excuse me, resolutions. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I just want to say this because I like, I like the way it came through me because I, I, used to, I talked about it this way, is that resolutions are, um, I'll say, resolutions are ego-driven, intentions are spirit-led. If you feel into that, you'll see where I'm coming from. Is intentions have more power, more heft, more grace, and more flow than resolutions do. So if you're planning your new year now, and you start to write things for the new year, and I'm going to talk about it much more on January 1st and 2nd, I encourage you, I invite you, I, I fully um, invite, encourage, recommend to you, let's write another word, that you actually start looking at as intentions versus resolutions for your new year. That'll help you. And speaking of New Year, because I'm very adamant about this too, um, I am inviting you to check out my uh, upcoming masterclass in January. It starts the week after, basically a week after the first, or the week after the New Year. So it's going to be including a lot of intention setting pieces because it's right at the beginning of the year. BFF, which is basically balance, freedom, and flow, or your best friend forever, you can use it that way too, is a foundational teaching of so many components that creates fulfillment in your life. I'll put a link in the comments for that as well because I highly recommend you check it out. And if you sign up now before, before January 1st, you basically pay half price. 
So it's worth checking it out as a recommendation from me to you. <laughs> so those two things have been in the comments anyway, because I did mention the self-love meditation, because there's gratitude in it, and also, um, and gratitude will be in my masterclass, the BFF masterclass, so that'll be in the comments too. But as an overall reminder, you can be grateful for the fact that you woke up this morning. You can be grateful for the fact that you had something to eat today. You can be grateful that it wasn't raining today or that there was snow today or whatever you want. You can have gratitude for anything. And I'm recommending that your practice is that you come up with at least, and not necessarily need to do more than, but at least three things you're grateful for every day. End of the day is recommended. Um, doesn't have to be a long mean each those, as you saw the piece of paper I had, they're pretty small. So there's only like one sentence. It doesn't require a lot of effort. You're not writing a journal here or a, you know, like a biography. I mean, if you want to do that, you can. But if you're grateful simply to say, I'm grateful for what I have, and like I might want to, for my bicycle, be like, I'm grateful I got to fix my bike for cheap or something like that would be my gratitude thing. It doesn't have to be much. Three of those a day, that's a thousand a year. That will influence your life going forward. So if you haven't started doing it now, start January 1st. Go out between now and, and Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs> Get yourself either a journal to do gratitude in or a jar. This one's from, the one I got from Big Lots, just so you know where I got it. It's simple and again, it's apart from the handle comes off it's a it's like a, it's like a candy jar type thing or a storage jar and this one I, I was looking at a big one but this one worked fine this is what you can use that will give you a resource to get gratitude for so i'm biased the jar works for me maybe work for you too and again the paper i got from uh notepads from office depot just so you know where to go looking for it so there it's, a, it's an easy idea so big lots uh, office depot get you started with your gratitude piece you can get your own pen <laughs> um, and that thing's about it really is a reminder just to start looking at gratitude as a resource for you as a tool a methodology to stay attuned to yourself and to really support yourself and with that I think that's about it um, again links will be in the comments that I mentioned if you haven't seen my broadcast before I do this every day at 5pm Pacific time usually um, it, it is 7 days a week but sometimes because of our schedule it's moved around because of the holidays but normally 5pm Pacific time every day of the week and weekend right here on my personal page on Facebook which is Barry Selby Replays go to my business page, although right, Facebook's not showing them all, but if you go to my business page, which is barrysurvey.org, you can scan through the last couple of hundred, at least. It's not all of them, though, because Facebook's been like that. So that's what another, that's one place you can go. Se third, secondly, for backup, you can go to my YouTube channel, which I recommend much more readily because there's all of them there. I've made sure of that. If you go to youtube.com slash user slash barrysurvey, you can find a, you can subscribe to my channel, and there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. Every single one of my talks, from the newest to the oldest, that's listed there. You can scan through by title, keyword, whatever you want to do to find the ones that speak to you. Um, these talks are here to help you. These talks are here for me, my message to support you, inspire you, and nudge you in the direction of your dreams. If you want more help, reach out to me. Message me over social media. Check out the links I put in the comments. Both of those will help you. They'll transform your life. And I mentioned this before, but I'll do it again now. If you choose to sign up for the BFF course from this broadcast, as in you do it today, I will include the self-love meditation is a gift to you as well. That's a that's a purchase, by the way. You normally have to pay separately. But if you do sign up for the BFF, and I'll see, I'll get the email from me that you signed up for it. I'll send you as my gift to you my self-love meditations. That takes hundred dollars off the price right there. Just saying, just a little bargaining here. Just say it's called post Christmas sale. So that's a little nudge, a reminder, an, an invitation, and a hint of what you can have. I recommend you check it out. I do want to support you going into the new year. If you want to get the help and you want to do the work, I'm here to help you. With that, thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And I remind you, as always, to please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.